Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two really nice semis to review for you guys as well as those uh, tippers that turn right upside down there. They're really cool and they can hold 100,000 liters so a really nice addition to the game. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs then I'll get them out on the road and test them on out for you. So let's get started. Okay, we'll start on over here with this really nice looking man semi with trailer attached and with extra trailer. This is the Man Zernova's version 1.7. This is a two-piece mod. You won't have to unzip it or anything. The fall size is 22 megabytes. The power is 471 kilowatts and 640 horsepower. Price in the shop as is is 100,000 with a zero dollar a day maintenance fee. The max speed for this is registered at 80 kilometers, but I think it actually goes faster than that. Capacity is 30,000 liters, and this is multicolor when you buy it in the shop. Now we'll quickly go over the tipper before we go over to the shop. Price for the tipper is 25000 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. It also has a capacity of 30,000 liters for a total of 60,000 liters. And this is also multicolor. So let's go on over to the shop. That's going to be located under trucks, a semi part. There it is there. It works for all those different fruit types. See, it says 80, but I think it goes faster than that, actually. You can change the colors here. So, yeah, it looks... I like the uh, brown for the cover there. It almost looks like it's made of leather. And the tipper's going to be located under tippers, or under trailers. Just keep on going down to the end here, and there it is right there for 25000 Works with all that stuff. And you can also change the colors of that as well. So yeah, it says design white or color, but actually it, it changes. It just puts a little uh, part you can get up onto this. Let's jump in the man truck and we'll test a few things on out. Let's start it up. Check out some of the lights. We got one, two, three light settings. Let's check out, I like the lights on the side as well. We got nice brake lights in the back. We got reverse lights, very nice. We also have a green door on the back. So if I bring up my HUD here, yeah, the end key will open the cover. And with the U key, you can uh, switch it to whatever side you want to dump it or straight back or through the little green door there on the back. So let's try out the signal lights. Look just fine. Hazards too, yes. There's no beacons on this. Try out the horn. Let me see the signal lights in the back too. Very nice. Yeah, like I said, it has a hitch so you can attach it to the trailer. No problem. Let's look inside the cab here. Very nice looking interior. Speedometer works and everything. The mirrors work as well. So let's go ahead and we'll hook up to our trailer here. Take this for a little boot. Oops. That was the Manzernova's version 1.7. All right, next up we have this beautiful looking Max Semi here from back in the 80s. Love the look at this. To be quite honest, there's a couple of errors coming up in the log. Maybe they could fix that in a future update, but what a nice rig this is, guys. This is the Max Superliner Day Cab 1980s version 1.1 Semi. Fall size for this is 102 megabytes. The power is 338 kilowatts and 460 horsepower. Price in the shop is 119000 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. This has a max speed of 80 kilometers an hour. Actually, it's 110 and it's also multicolor. Let's go over to the shop and we'll take a look at that before we test it out. There is the Mac right there. Beautiful looking truck. I love that thing. A few different variations you can choose from here. You can change the main color, the design color. You can take it with the hitch or without. You can change the tire from Lizard over to Nokian. Nokian look much nicer. Nice uh, rims on them. So the only unfortunate part is when you change the color of this, you're still going to get the red rims, I'm pretty sure. Let me try putting this all in black just to see. Yeah, actually that doesn't look too bad, all in black with the red. So there's some logos you can put on this. If you That was without. There's small little decals there on the door. It's hard to see them, but you can take it with um, 
with the grill logo and then you can take it with both the grill logo and that it says expendables on it it's pretty cool okay let's take a little walk around I love to look at this man But the reason I review it, even with the errors, is because I really like this and I think it uh, definitely has potential. There's nothing game breaking about it, it just, it, there is a few errors coming up, so I just want to let you guys know that. Let's start it on up. This also has that whistle to it too, like the Peterbilt 389. Love it. Okay, let's check out some lighting. We have one, two, three light settings. Four, actually. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Got kind of a yellow tint to them. Let's try the reverse lights here. We got reverse lights. Very nice. Okay, let's try out the signal lights. Very nice. The hazards as well. Work just great. Okay, nice bright lights too. I like that. Okay, we don't have any beacons on this. Let's try out the horn. Pretty low sounding horn, but look at the, uh, you can even see the the pit bull on the mirrors there, that's so cool. Truck, okay, let's jump on inside. Not a bad looking interior. I don't know if the speedometer works, it's kind of blurry, This the gauge is there. Doesn't look the best on the inside, but it's passable. Alright, let's take this guy for a little spin. This to hook to those tippers, of course. Nice set of tippers there. I, got, I just used the dolly to double it up, but I'll show you that this can indeed do 110. Of course, I got it on these windy roads. So we'll test that out more momentarily. Okay, up next we have this beautiful looking uh, flip tipper here. This is really cool because you can dump one tipper into another. I really like that idea. This is the Randon Bulk Semi by Carnifex version 1.1. File size for this is 2.1 megabytes. Really small file. Price in the shop as is is 97000 with the $0 a day maintenance fee. The capacity for this is 100,000 liters, so it definitely has a nice capacity, and it is multicolor as well. So let's go over to the shop. That's going to be located under trailers. Go all the way over to the end. There it is right there, the current effects. 97,000 works with all those different fruit types there, guys. You can change the colors here, so the main color and the rim color. But look at that palette of colors to choose from, all kinds. So, uh, yeah, there is some metallic looking paint jobs here too. Okay, so let's go test these out. Okay, let's jump in our Zernovas here and uh, start them on up. We'll bring them down to the field and fill it up. Yeah, those look really cool done up in the brown there. Okay, let's get this guy unloaded. Oops. Okay, let's bring up my HUD. Very nice. Okay, we'll pull over here for a second. I want to see if you can, uh, when you put the tops back on, that the grain's not showing good. Very nice. Okay. Okay, let's try emptying this through the green door. Check that out. Yeah, I had to uh, drop that trailer. Get that to work. I don't know if that's normal. Okay, let's stop there. and see what this side tip looks like. Okay, that's cool. Another tipper here. Seen the side tip. Let's go back down. That's cool. Got the little handle on it too. Love that. Oh, 
Okay, let's start this monster up. This thing sounds really good when you're driving it. I love it. So one thing I forgot to mention about these uh, flip tippers here is you use the mouse button to flip it. And I'll show you what I mean here. So to activate your tippers, just hold in your right mouse button, pull it to the right, drag it to the right to put it down, and drag it to the left to flip it out. That's how easy it is. Very cool. So I just happen to take this with two. I'm going to go over here and start this guy up. I just got a single one here. So another thing I have to mention is this thing is very tall. So even with the... Uh, the harvesters I have on this map it's very hard for the pipe to reach that so you may have to maneuver around a little bit but here we can test both of these mods out at the same time so our harvesters filled over here that just happens to hold a hundred thousand liters around the nose but you'll know what I mean with the pipe here and that's with this aggro so it's the pipe is still a little low see just a touch so I will have to go inside the harvester to uh, fix that so that should just line right up nice like there very nice okay I like the little chains and everything on that that's cool We go, 100,000 liters. Okay, let's get this back to the farm. So I tip it into this tipper here first so I can show you that you can transfer from one tipper to another, which is a really cool feature. You're just going to have to get very, very close to do that. Like super close. Hold in the left mouse button, drag it to the left. Yeah, you can see it going in there. Not perfectly lined up, but you get the gist. Okay, so that's cool. I really like that. Yes, sir. Look at that. Empties pretty quick, too. Okay, so there you have it. That was the Manzir Novas version 1.7. That's a two piece mod. We have the Max Superliner Day Cab 1980s version 1.1 and the Randon Bulk Semi by Carnifex version 1.1. Additional information and links can all be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.